Alright, hello, welcome back to more of Doki Doki Literature Club, right where we left off, huh? Alright, let's just go. Sayori's in the background. I'm gonna try to hang out with Monica if that's possible, because last time I had to choose between Yuri and Atsuki for festival preparations, so I don't know. Right? Uh... Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Artemis to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Artemis joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Artemis isn't even passionate about literature in the first place, and that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider your opin our opinions for once. Hmm? Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Artemis want to get more members, too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Artemis, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk, and leaves a giant open hole for us to see Sayori in the background, which I am not okay with. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind! Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all! I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me! She's not taking anything away. No. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Oh, I feel bad. She just wants a nice place to be. I honestly, I can relate to that. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Um, excuse me? Oh god, I missed that because I looked away and I accidentally hit the mouse pad. And I'm just happy with you here. But still. I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh my god! Get away out. Get off my screen. Oh my why. Why did that just happen? Why did that just happen? Why did her blood why did her eye just spurt blood out of nowhere like it was pricked by a pin? I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is, thing is for everyone to get along. Oh, and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their- What just fell- f Oh, she's crying blood. Why? Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as the whole will change too. Stop. Stop crying blood. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. Monica, 
Oh, that's so nice. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah, let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay, I look forward to it. Shall we go? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Artemis before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Aw, we were gonna walk home together? Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica, oh, it's still there. I thought maybe it disappeared. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Artemis, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that, as president. It got fuzzy. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. Ahaha! <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? I'm afraid I do. But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess, it's t I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No, stop it! Excuse me? Can I click on something other than that? I can click on Covet. Let me try to click on something that looks tenacious. Why does that say 11? Um, climax. I'm gonna click on the weird word. <gasps> that was a terrible idea. Okay, I'm gonna get through this as fast as possible. Grief. Uh, vivacious. Oh my god, effulgent. I hate these noises. Frightening. Contamination. Question. Twirl. Treasure. Whistle. Misfortune. Depression. Special. Adventure. Peaceful. Family. Uncontrollable. Agonizing. Cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh no! What is happening? Someone help me. Oh dear god, someone help me. It's louder. Okay. Um. Okay. Severe hyperventilation. Hi, Artemis. Nothing happened right now. I can't handle anything more right now. I've been wait. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Uh, anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel it felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Artemis just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I- I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about that, about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I felt, I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. 
and I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Artemis, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Artemis is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, that was creepy. Thank you for understanding, Monica. What? Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Oh god, she's back! Oh god, the picture is back in the back of the room. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Oh god. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's, at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Th last time we did this, she cut herself and she ran down the hallway and yelled at us and then the game rewound. <laughs> pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh... Did Yuri leave again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Oh, thank god she's gone. Not Monica, the picture. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Okay, this is what happened last time. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. Okay, I'm scared now. I start heading down the hallway. Ha! Ha! Is it just gonna happen again? Ha! Ha! What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Kya! I reach the corner and sharp inhale. See, it's going back again. I don't know why it's doing this. Oh no. Um, wait. How did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean... Oh god. That was weird, because that has happened, but now... But what didn't happen was the whole glitching out weird thing, like the... Like the rewind. Oh god. Like the rewind happened, but it didn't happen like this. Everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things that, about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club my heart starts to go crazy, like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club, but recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening, but finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Oh god, the eyes. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, I hate this music. I just want to stay here. It's just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends, and then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody make, to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> I'm literally covering her eyes because I can't deal with this. Who's behind her? 
That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Oh, hi, Monica. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Monica is getting more and more apparent. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. Now we can, we can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Oh, hi, Monica. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other, and now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Artemis? Will, oh God. Whoa. Okay. Well, I am going to leave this episode here. I have to run, but, um, that was intense. That wasn't actually, that actually did not freak me out as much as, like, most of the glitches have been. Um, this is getting absolutely crazy. <laughs> uh, wow, this is, this is insane. Okay, well, anyway, I absolutely am loving this, but please, if you are enjoying this, leave a like, comment, or even subscribe. Let me know. I would love to have more of this recorded and put up because it's great. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have for this time. This has been a very freaky blast as always, but that's all I have. So, bye!